you're not regretting last night, are you? Of course I'm not. Well, you're not having any second thoughts. Baby, it's not about you. It's about Alice. I don't want her to see you. I want to tell her myself. Can you understand that? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. She's only known us as friends. And if she finds out you stayed the night, it might confuse her. OK, you're right, you're right. Anyway, I'll see you at work. Thanks for last night. It's terrific. So you're definitely not having second thoughts? No. Oh, why are you? No. <laughs> no way. We should have done this ages ago. <laughs> morning. Uh, morning, Alice. Morning, Biff. Uh, morning, Alice. Did you stay in Auntie Kathy's room last night? How oh, is she? She's had a terrible night. Yeah, so have I. I hardly slept a wink. I just kept waking up with it all going round in my head. It's such a shock, isn't it? Yeah, I thought she was just making it up. I can't believe that she's only got six months to live. I'm the same. And there's a lot of things I don't understand, Jane. Such as? Why didn't she tell me earlier? Well, the specialist only got the test results back yesterday. What specialist? I thought she'd only been ill a week or so. No. Apparently she's been seeing a specialist for months. What? I only found out myself yesterday. She said she didn't tell you because she didn't want to worry you. Well, great. You know, I feel really... bad and... You know, like, some of the things I've said to her... Well, your mum's not entirely blameless, is she? No, but I just feel so guilty for not believing that she was ill and I thought she was just swinging it because of me and Mandy. Well, she's not. Yeah, I know that now. I feel terrible. I'm... And, right, this specialist, is he absolutely sure that she's only got six months to live? Apparently. Right, well, I want to see him... I... I want to find out exactly what's wrong with her because there's got to be something they can do, hasn't there? I mean, th there's got to be. You know, I went to switch on the television earlier for the news and I forgot that it wasn't there. You were the one who said Joseph watches too much TV. Yeah, I know, but I didn't expect you to get rid of it. Anyway, use the radio. It's better for the imagination. I'll still miss it. Another week, and you'll wonder why you ever wanted a TV in the first place. I think some of the programmes could be educational for Joseph. Rachel, if you really want me to get the TV back, I will. Yeah, I think that maybe you But should... if we can't supply a more stimulating environment than the TV for Joseph, then what does that say about us? No. No, maybe you're right. Rachel, I don't want you to think I'm taking you over, organising you, as you called it. If you really think the TV would benefit Joseph... No, no, honestly. What's the fact without it? You're right. Was Joseph all right last night? I heard him coughing. I think he's got a bit of a cold. He didn't keep you away, did he? No, no, I was just worried about him, that's all. You two get on so well, don't you? Yeah, I think we do. Hello, little fella. We were just talking about you. How are you feeling? Mm, not so good, I believe. You want me to tell Miss Strickland you won't be in today? Oh, it's only a cold. It'll be all right with Betty. Do you really think so? Graham, I don't want to take the day off work. Do you want your mum to stay home and look after you? <laughs> yeah. Do you think we can persuade her? All right, then. You win. Betty! No, I'd like to keep you and me quiet for the time being. Yeah, you're not the only one. When my mum finds out about this, he's going to have a field day. What's up going for days? <laughs> well, it's not just that. I want to sit down and explain it on the tour. Well, well it seems pretty cool to me. <laughs> <laughs> I still want a proper chat with her, though. Particularly if you're going to stay over on a regular basis. Oh, am I? I hope so. Don't you? Cassie! 
Will you take Alice to school? She's going to be late. Come on, sweetheart. <laughs> Come on. Bill? Yeah? Will you be sleeping at our house again tonight? Uh. What did she just say? Biff stayed the night with Auntie Kathy last night, didn't you, Biff? Yeah. <laughs> Alice. She's just getting up for some breakfast. Did you talk to her? Uh, yeah, she, uh, she's going to try and arrange for me to speak to that specialist. Morning. Hi. Hi, Zoe. How's your mother this morning? Uh, not, not too good. She's had a bad night. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Thanks for letting her stay, though. It's the least I could do. She couldn't travel back last night, could she? Well, thanks, anyway. I'm going to book her into a B&B &B around here so she can be near a paddy. Right. Do you want some toast? Uh, no, thanks. I'm on my way out. Can you make sure that Katie's here before you go out on your rounds? Yeah, no problem. Uh, where are you going? Um, I've got an early appointment. I'll oh, see you later. She's nice, isn't she? Yeah, and I'm sure my mother would have tried to marry me after Zoe ages ago, if she wasn't a lesbian. Oh, a little thing like that wouldn't stop your mum, surely? <laughs> Jane? <laughs> Jane? How are you feeling now? Oh, dreadful. Manage a bit of breakfast? I'll try. Aren't you having any, Patrick? Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to have to go and see Mandy before me round. She'll be worried where I've been all night. Oh, right. Well, well, well. Oh, I'll leave it out, Marlon, will you? Well, 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 well. <laughs> will you give it a rest? <laughs> I can't. I'm just so chuffed. Congratulations, mate. Put it there. It's yes, all right. Thank you. I haven't won the FA Cup. You can know you have won the World Cup, Wimbledon oh. and Grand National all on the same day. My machinations. I'm telling you, Cupid could learn a thing or two from me. Yeah, well, I wish you'd get into aim a few arrows in my direction, Mark. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Any road there is the two people I care most about. Right to <laughs> oh, Thank you. I do appreciate that, Betty, but... I'd like you to keep this under your hats, please. I don't want to be walking in the wool pack and everybody's tongues wagging. And Cathy feels the same. My lips are sealed. Apart from that, we want to have a little chat with Alice, you know, before everybody finds out. You can rely on me to be the soul of discretion. Well, I do hope so, Betty. Hey, just a minute, Biff Fowler. I'm surprised at you. Who was the first one to know about you and Lady Dara? Uh, you were. Yes, and did I say a single word to a soul? <clears throat> no, Betty. Thank you. I rest my case. Oops. Hurry in. Didn't he catch her? What do you mean? Well, he went looking for you before you went on his rounds. There's something the matter. Well, is that? He didn't come back last night. Where is he? Come on, Kel, I'm worried sick. His mother turned up. So? She stayed the night here. Stayed here? Yeah, with that friend of hers. Oh, what's her name? Jane. Jane Barnett? Uh, yeah. When's he back? Mm, another couple of hours. Right. Well, if you see him before I do, tell him I'm looking for him and I want some answers. See you, Betty. Hi, Roger. Hi. Like your hair. Thank you. Ooh, baby, rather. <laughs> Thank you. Right, hello. Hi, Ooh, Betty. what a transformation. Thanks very much. <laughs> Look, Betty, can I ask you a favour? He's full of cold. I'm supposed to be staying at home with him, but the school have rung and uh, they're snowed under with work. No problem. I can take him round to our house. Hey, I'm going to get you some ice cream in a minute. Oh, are you sure? <laughs> it's my pleasure. Betty, you're an angel. Thank you. <laughs> Rachel, uh, you're right. <laughs> yes, thank you. Cool. He's in a good mood. Well, uh, it's funny you should mention that. <laughs> I really shouldn't say anything, but then you are Kathy's best mate. What? Well, it, no. No, I can't not have made a promise. Oh, Betty, you can't start something and not finish it. No, you're right. What about Biff and Kathy? You know, the pair of them. No, that's not. No! Yeah. 
Hi, Kathy. Yeah. Oh, hiya, Rachel. Your yeah, hair oh. terrific. <laughs> Thanks very much. Hey, you're in a bit of a dark horse. Sorry. What have they just been telling me? You and Biff? Oh, 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 well, I didn't think you'd mind, seeing as it's Rachel. Betty, I was going to tell her myself. Hey, Biff, what are you two like? Betty's just told Rachel. Oh, great. Well, not a word to anyone else, though, eh? As if I would. You're lucky you did nothing on the motorway. Yeah, I just what the hell's going on here? You're supposed to be on the road half an hour ago. I had a flat, didn't I? I hope to change it. Well, get on with it. Worthings are expecting delivery by two o'clock. Don't lose your call. I'll be there for one. Hi. Well, what are you doing here? Nice welcome. Zoe, I'm up to my ears. I don't have time for useless chit-chat. I came for a breath of fresh air to get away from the cottage. It's been a bit of a crisis with Paddy and his mother. I'm not really interested in Paddy's domestic problems. Chris. This mum's only got six months to live. Sorry. Well, I can see I'm not going to get any tea and sympathy here. Men, eh? You can't keep away from the yard, can you? I like to follow my brother's business interests. Oh, yeah. We're very close. Could have fooled me. Well, that can't be difficult. Nice one. You know, I really like you. Listen, if you ever found a man who was charming, witty, attractive, intelligent, sexy... Well, you can't be talking about yourself. Why not? Sean, if you were the last man on this earth, I still wouldn't fancy you. Great. I like a challenge. Thing is, Zoe, I can see right through you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Get that stuff for you, Sean. Right. I know exactly what your game is. I know why you're round the yard every spare minute you've got. I don't know what you're talking about. And I know who you've got the hots for. You know nothing. Yeah, I'll pass that on to Miss Strickland. OK, thanks. Bye. What are you doing here? Uh, Miss Strickland ran me and asked if there was any way I could come in. And where's Joseph? I bet it is. Don't believe this. I'm not blaming you, Rachel. It's not your fault, but Miss Strickland shouldn't exploit your good nature like this. What is it? Well, she also asked me if I'd stay behind tonight and teach the aerobics class. You didn't say yes. <sighs> Rachel, you've got to stand up for yourself. What's more important, this school or Joseph? Oh, Graham, please. All right, I'm... I know I'm interfering again, and I'm sorry. But you were right this morning. I do care very much about Joseph. And that's why I can't keep quiet. I'm sorry. Do you want me to pick him up after school? Please. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't get in touch last night. I had a bit of a crisis on. Yeah, your mother. Yeah. Did she say it last night? Yeah, uh, look, Mum did. She won't give up, will she? <laughs> no, you, you've got it wrong. Wrong? She's trying to start us up again. Mum, it, it's not like that. Oh, Paddy, do not go soft on me. Hi. Hello, Mandy. Hiya. I've managed to book her into the B&B. What? You moving your mind to the village? Y yeah, but... Uh, Mandy. That is it. This time she will not win. I'm going to run around this village for you and say, I knew! Mandy! No! Mandy! Mandy! She's only got, uh, six months to live. Six months to live? Yeah. And you believe her? Yes, I do. Can't you see what she's trying to do? Mandy, it's true. Yeah? Yeah. Well, sorry, no, I don't get it. It's just too convenient. 
Then she tells you she's ill, so you go running round to her. Then you tell her that me and you were going to get married, and suddenly she's dying. It's not like that. It looks like that to me. It's none of your business to just keep out, Kelly. Paddy, it doesn't weigh up. Mandy, honestly, she really does only have six months to live. Well, if you believe that, you're the biggest fool this side at Pennines. Mandy! She's done it again and you've let her! Patrick? Patrick? Mum? You all right? I heard voices. Raised voices. Who was it? It was Mandy. Have you had an argument? <clears throat> Come on, let's get you to that B&B. Your mummy's working late tonight, I'm afraid. Not fair, is it? Oh, do you miss her? Yeah, yeah I miss her too. We don't see enough of her, do we? Yeah. Oh, wouldn't it be lovely if she was at home all the time? Yeah, it would. Perhaps we could persuade her. Do you think we could? <laughs> yeah, I'll bet we could. Because you know something? She loves you so much. She'd do anything for you. Thanks, Penny. So I'll play some tomorrow. No rush. Have you told anybody yet? Tempted, but no. Neither have I, except Rachel. Oh, I'm bursting at the seams, Marla. What's all the whispering about? Nothing. What are you plotting, Betty? Oh, I'm sorry, but I've been sworn to see Chris Ebenezer. Shame. Mind you. Betty! Well, I don't see the arm. I'm sure Bernice is as discreet as me. Oh, I am, Betty. That's what worries me. Well, will you promise not to tell a single soul? Not a single solitary soul. <laughs> Biff and Kathy? <laughs> well, I think they make a lovely couple. Don't you, Tricia? Oh, yeah, lovely. Just keep it a secret or you put a lid on it. Come well, on, you can't put a lid on love. When spring's in the air. Look at all these couples in love. Kelly and Roy. Mandy and Paddy. Me and Sam. And me and my Gavin. We're all in love. Well, most of us. <laughs> and here he is, the man of the moment. Won't let her get away with it. Like I said, man, you mustn't do nothing stupid. That cow must be lying. Yeah, probably, but... And I'm going to prove it. Well, Paddy's as soft as margarine. He's not going to do nothing. So it's down to me to sort her out. Joseph, I picked him up from Betty's, but he seems to have got worse. He's been crying and asking for you. Where is he? Well, I had to bring him with me. I'm sorry, I didn't know what else to do. He's just over there. Come on, Joseph. Mummy! Joseph, are you all right? Are you all right? I'll cut the class short. Come on. Yeah? Hello. I was expecting you. I thought I ought to warn you. About what? Uh, we are headline news. It's all around the village. <laughs> what? You don't mind? 
What's the point? You should have known you can't keep anything secret around here. <laughs> hi, Bae. Oh, uh, hi, Alice. Should we have a word with her? Yeah, I think we better. Uh, Alice, I'm gonna have a serious chat with you. About Biff, will you be staying the night again? Uh, I, I don't know. Is he? Uh, I don't know, Pat. We haven't really talked about it. I don't mind if he does. Do you? No. I've always liked Biff. Oh, right. Can I ask one question, though? Yeah, go on. Why is it taking you so long? <laughs> <laughs> So, you told us to go. How can I when she's so ill? Oh, Paddy, you are such a wimp. <sighs> Mandy, she is genuinely ill. If you believe that, you'll believe anything. She is. <sighs> well, I'll show you she really is. She's not getting away with this. What are you gonna do? Get off me, Paddy! Nothing is gonna stop me this time. Am I doing something wrong? Of course not. Rachel, you're a great mother. You've done a wonderful job of bringing up Joseph almost entirely on your own. You have. Joseph's a great kid. It's just, for some reason, he suddenly seems to be demanding your attention. But why now? I don't know. Perhaps it's just a matter of giving him more quality time. Maybe it's because he's got to share my time. He's not got me all to himself now, has he? You could be right. Thank you for today. You're so good with Joseph. No, no, I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, I think this is one of my favorites. This is a fantastic. Where is she? Doing? Don't fool me. I don't know what your game is. Patrick! You're not going to spy on me and Patrick! Mandy, this isn't doing any good. You're just upsetting her. Upsetting her? I'm not upsetting her. Patrick! Patrick! Nasty! Old! Bad! I'll show you how ill you really are! Mandy! Oh, and your little performance don't fool me. 